What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I just got back from the doctor, and apparently I have something. So, if you're interested in hearing about what I have, I'm going to read it to you. Keep watching. Also, I'm going to talk keto today. I am going to um, do a weigh-in because it's weigh-in Wednesday. It is January 2nd, weigh-in Wednesday. And um, I'm going to talk about being in ketosis. So if you're interested in hearing about that, keep watching. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back and thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're new or you're not new. Either way, hit the like button. Helps me out and I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So I've been having a lot of problems in this area, in my wrist. I can take my watch off and let's just, so you can, might be able to see. So I've been having some swelling here and um, right here. So swelling, 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 all right in here. Okay, and it's hard. I cannot do this. It hurts like a mofo. Um, so very tender and it hurts all through here on this hand as well so i've had this for about the last i don't want to say at least six months if not longer could be longer than that um but been very painful for the last few months so i went to the doctor this morning just to um get established with a new physician in my area because the physician that i had she moved to another location therefore we had to choose a different one which is okay with us because our primary care physician was like 45 minutes from our house and we were new here when we got her so we didn't really know location blah 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 yada yada anyway i got established with a new physician this morning um she was great um in the tarpon springs area if anybody is interested um and we have etna insurance um let me know leave it in the comment below if you might be headed this way and you're not sure about any physicians in this area so anyway having problems here i thought it was carpal tunnel because i do a lot of work on the computer and stuff um it literally swells up right here it's swollen right now and i cannot do this it's very painful in my thumb and needless to say i have she printed it out for me I have Dequervian tenosynovitis. Tenosyno, I'm thinking this whole time, like, I might have, like, you know, like the onset of arthritis or something in my hands. And I may very well because, you know, um, I have to go for testing for that as well. But um, I was just really having a lot of pain in this area and in my wrists. And I thought, well, maybe it's um, carpal tunnel because I do, I am on the computer a lot. Not really diagnosing me with arthritis at this point in my hands because the problem is they're very weak. I can't because I'm losing um, strength in my thumbs. And we all know if you don't have thumbs, you ain't doing ish really. Um, so I can't like grip and open things. Like husband has been really helping me out. And I have to be like, especially when I first wake up in the morning, it is horrible you guys I can't open things and I can barely bend them it just hurts something serious so I am really opposed to taking pills and things like that like pain relief and stuff I don't like it if I could find something more natural I would so she prescribed to me a, um, a topical ointment which I have to go pick up from our pharmacy that I can put on to help with the pain and the swelling inflammation and stuff to hopefully um, get rid of these symptoms because it is like a tendonitis type of thing, so it should go away. And I have to go get a thumb brace. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Two thumb braces just to give them a rest. Here's my thinking. like If it's from scrolling, y'all, and texting, like we've been doing, we do this a lot now, and I literally hold my phone in one hand and I'm like this you know, literally, or, you know, if I switch it up once in a while and hold my phone like this, but I'm scrolling and doing this type of thing. So she basically said, use your fingers instead of your thumbs. You know, if you're going to text and you're going to do all that, try and use your fingers instead of your thumbs so much, because we all know we just hold our, do you know what I mean? Like when you're texting, 
I don't know. Anyway, that's what I have. The Quervion Tenosynovitis. Trying to pronounce this, and it's not easy. So that is what I have. So uh, anyway, with that said, let's talk keto. And I tested this morning, yeah, and I am back in ketosis. Finally, from Christmas, it took me a week to get back into ketosis. I am, according to these strips, <laughs> the test strips, I am back in ketosis. And I'm happy about that. Now, let me tell you, getting back into ketosis this time was hell. Just because I've had a headache for days. It wasn't like, you know, a one-day headache and it went away. I keep getting, like, a headache and it'll go away. A headache and it'll go away. A headache and it'll go away. Now, with that said, I want to introduce you to something else. This is one of my new friends. And I don't know how you feel about it. You can leave it in the comments below. But I was talking to my cousin, telling my cousin how I was having the pain in my hands. And, um... I didn't know if it was arthritis related or what it was, but I don't like taking pills. So at this point, I'm taking up to four ibuprofen every single day to try to alleviate the pain and get the inflammation and the swelling down. I don't like that. I don't want to take pills is the last thing I want to be doing is, you know, trying to eat and be healthier. And then I'm sticking these pills in my body every single day. I don't want to do it. I don't want to get to a point ever where I'm dependent on any type of pills. So... I spoke to my cousin and he comes home one night with this. This is a vape pen, CBD. Now, I don't know, you can put it in the comments and let me know how you feel about it below, but I'm just gonna explain to you how I feel about it. So, um, it's CBD oil. Okay, I had a headache and I keep getting, I don't know if it's the keto headache, I'm getting back into ketosis, whatever. So I had a headache and I took about five puffs off of this and my headache was gone. Reason being, this really relaxes you. It helps with anxiety, it helps with pain, and there are a lot of health benefits that go along with this. So I suggest doing your own research on CBD oil because I am no type of expert. I'm not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I have no idea how this stuff even really works. I looked it up a little bit for myself, did a little bit of research prior to him getting this for me. And I do know that it is very beneficial. You know, uh, I did talk to my doctor today about um, vaping, using it. Uh, because I'm really not a fan of that either, only because I am an ex-smoker. I used to smoke 10 years ago now. It's been 10 years since I quit smoking. So I am I was a little bit reluctant to vape just because I'm like, I don't want anything in my lungs after I've been, I stopped smoking 10 years ago. So I really didn't want to do this, but I'm doing it temporarily um, until I can find another solution or... I don't think personally that this will entice me to start smoking again at all. I really don't. Um, but once again, it's vaping and I'm holding this battery close to my face and I've heard bad stories about that and what have you. The only reason that I am really doing this right now is just because I wanted some relief and nothing was really working. Anyway, with that said, I do use the vape pen um, and I will like hit it five, six times depending on how I'm feeling because it helps with my anxiety as well. I will hit it five or six times, even a few more times. It just depends um, before I go to sleep. And it seriously calms you down. Like this, whatever he got me, I cannot like walk around and do this all day because legit it makes you sleepy. It really does calm you down. It makes you sleepy. So... This is not something that you can like sit around and huff on all day and expect to be like wide awake. No, this really relaxes you. So that is my way. I'm trying to find a healthier alternatives to taking um, four ibuprofen every day and an Aleve because I just don't want to take those pills. So I'm hoping if I continue to use this like on a daily basis and get this into my system, which I'm going to go to a nutrition shop that is, um, actually it was right across the street from my doctor's office, but I did not go this morning because I had something else to do. 
but I'm going to go to the nutrition shop um, across the street from the doctor's office that, sh that my doctor recommended and go see what they have to offer as far as CBD. Just because I think it's a health healthier alternative. All right. So now that we know I have pretty much a tendonitis in my thumbs and it's from texting and scrolling and being on my phone probably way too much and the way I hold it um, and that I vape CBD oil for um, pain and anxiety type of issues and that now I'm back in ketosis as of this morning and obviously going to the doctor I weighed in weighing in weighing Wednesday this morning 155 and that's fully clothed with you know my purse my you know side bag and everything on so is what it is now I haven't really lost any weight as of yet um but I'm working on it that's one of my new year goals is um dropping another 25 pounds so yeah, so I'm going to keep you guys updated on that. So, yeah, I mean, I am really, like, coming into the New Year strong. I have my vision board right up there. This is my obviously my bedroom. My vision board is right up there. Every morning when I wake up, I can see it. And I am ready to do this. I am, like, so ready and so pumped for 2019. So, my... With all that said, um, my wrists are, I need to start healing my wrists. I need to stay off my phone. I need to stop texting so much. I need to stop scrolling so much. Um, let's see what else I need to, oh, yesterday I did, um, start the new year right. And I went on my morning walk. My husband and my cousin went with me, which I was super psyched about, um, and let's see what else. Got a few more subscribers. Super psyched about that because one of my goals for 2019 is to grow my YouTube channel. Super psyched. Um, let's see what else. Oh, update. My brother is still moving down here. He's leaving this Saturday, you guys. Like, I'm super, super, super excited about that. They're leaving this Saturday and they should be down here Sunday. I don't know what time Sunday sometime Sunday because it's going to be my brother, my sister-in-law, and their little dog too. <laughs> so my brother is bringing a 20-foot U-Haul and towing a, a car on a little like, you know, tow dolly on the way down. My husband and I, we didn't do all that. We relocated. We're kind of relocating different ways and that's, I'm going to put that in other videos, but super psyched. He's going to be here Sunday. Sunday. So, so my cousin is staying in uh, the room right now. He's been down here for, I don't know, a week and a half. Already got a job, you guys. He is a bartender. He's a bartender from um, Chicago area. He's a bartender from Chicago. And <laughs> he came down here, got a job in a week and a half. And he today was his first day at work. I'm so happy for him that it's all working out for him. And... I, I mean, I just couldn't be happier that we are getting family down here that can be close to us because my husband and I were pretty lonely there for a while. Just like we didn't have anybody down here with us. But now we are super, super psyched about um, having family close by us. So my brother is leaving this coming Saturday. He should be here Sunday. We don't have like definite time, anything like that. So he's coming from Illinois. Illinois to where we are located in Pinellas County, Florida should be about 18 hours, but he is driving down in a 20 foot U-Haul, pulling a car dolly and bringing a little dog too. So we don't know how long this is going to take. We're just super excited. So you guys in the future, once he's here, um, yeah, we're going to start doing some relocation videos I'm in Pinellas County, Florida, which is the Clearwater area. And if you have any questions about that, just leave them in the comments below because then I can do another video about that. It gives me video ideas when you guys ask questions. So feel free, put the questions in the comments below so I can put together some videos if you guys are interested. And with that said, you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit long, but I had a quite a, I had a few life updates to give you guys today. 
just super pumped. Today was weigh in Wednesday. I haven't really lost any weight. So this next week, I hope that um, it all starts to fall off something. Um, because now I'm back on track for 2019. Yesterday, I did go for a walk with my husband and my cousin. We all went. They were nice enough to go with me. And I enjoyed that, you know, having somebody else to walk with. But right now, you guys, I need to get out because I need to go get my activity for today done. Which it is 1245 already. I need to go get my walk in. And yeah. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back and hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one.